क्वेश्चन 166. Which page does the Azure Resource Manager model provide to deploy resources? Choose all that apply. Option A. PowerShell. Option B. REST API or SDK. Option C. Azure Portal. Option D. CLI. And the correct answer is Option A, Option B, Option C and Option D. All are correct answers. Explanation. All of those ways can be used to deploy or manage resources using ARM. Next question. True or false? A virtual network must be in the same region as the resources attached to it. Option A. False. Option B. True. And the correct answer is Option A. False. Explanation. Yes, you can only attach a virtual machine to a virtual network in the same region as it. Next question. What is the basic way of protecting an Azure Virtual Network subnet? Option A. Azure Firewall. Option B. Azure DDoS Standard Protection. Option C. Application Gateway with WAF. Option D. Network Security Group. And the correct answer is Option D. Network Security Group. Explanation. Network Security Group NSG, a fairly basic set of rules that you can apply to both inbound traffic and outbound traffic that lets you specify what sources, destinations and ports are allowed to travel through from outside the virtual network to inside the virtual network. Next question. Select yes or no for the below statement. Azure services in the public preview can only be used via the Azure command line interface. Option A. Yes. Option B. No. And the correct answer is Option B. No. Explanation. This is not necessarily true. Services in the public preview can be accessed through the Azure portal as well. Next question. Your company is planning on hosting resources using Azure services. For the following requirement, which Azure service would you choose? Provide a service that can be used to host a data warehouse. Option A. Azure Cognitive Service. Option B. Azure DevOps. Option C. Azure Bot Service. Option D. Azure Synapse Analytics. And the correct answer is Option D. Azure Synapse Analytics. Explanation. Azure Synapse Analytics can be used to host a data warehouse. You can host your big data warehouse and also perform big data analytics. Option A is incorrect. Azure Cognitive Service is used to build cognitive intelligence in applications. Option B is incorrect. Azure DevOps is a set of tools used for implementing DevOps. Option C is incorrect. Azure Bot Service is used to build intelligent bots within applications. Next question. You want to host a set of Azure Virtual Machines. Also, you want to ensure that virtual machines are hosted on the underlying physical server. Which of the following would you make use of? Of for this requirement. Option A. Azure App Service. Option B. Azure Kubernetes. Option C. Azure Functions. Option D. Azure Dedicated Host. And the correct answer is Option D. Azure Dedicated Host. Explanation. With Azure Dedicated Host, you can be allocated the underlying physical server as a resource. You can then host virtual machines on the underlying physical server. Next question. Your company is planning to move its big data solution related on-premises resources to Azure. You are asked to provide a business justification for moving to Azure. Where does the following expense fit? New on-premises performance cluster to host a big data solution. Option A. Primary expenditure. Option B. Capital expenditure. Option C. Secondary expenditure. Option D. Operating expenditure. And the correct answer is option B. Capital Expenditure Explanation This expense comes under the Capital Expense category. Capital Expenditures or CapEx is defined as funds used by organizations to obtain, upgrade and maintain physical assets such as data centers. These expenditures are generally non-recurring and result in the acquisition of permanent assets. Azure Reserved Instances is an example of a CapEx model. Next question which Azure service satisfies the below requirement? Ensure that resources in a resource group can't be accidentally deleted. Option A. Azure resource locks. Option B. Azure policies. Option C. Azure blueprints. Option D. Azure active directory rules. And the correct answer is Option A. Azure resource locks. 
Explanation Resource logs can be used to prevent the accidental deletion of resources. Please refer us your document below for more details. Next question. A startup company is planning to set up an Azure free account. Which of the following is correct? When it comes to what is offered as part of the Azure free account. Option A. 200 USD free credit to use after 30 days. Option B. Free access to popular Azure products before the 12 months expiration period even after the free trial is over. Option C. Free access to popular Azure products after the 12 months expiration period even after the free trial is over. Option D. Access to all products that are always free. And the correct answer is option B. Free access to popular Azure products before the 12 months expiration period even after the free trial is over. Explanation. As you are aware, not all services are completely free from the first 12 month duration. For instance, you get 750 hours of Windows Virtual Machine for free, which can be spent over 12 months or before. Once the limit is completed, you are charged based on uses. Option A is incorrect. The reason we get $200 credits only for the first 30 days. Option C is incorrect. Reason on completion of 12 months trial. The services used are charged based on the uses. Option D is incorrect. Reason, only a few services like Cosmos DB and App Service, etc. are free for certain limitations. Next question. Which feature within Azure collects all of the logs from various resources into a central dashboard where you can run queries, view graphs and create alerts on certain events? Option A. Storage account or event hub. Option B. Azure Security Center. Option C. Azure Monitor. Option D. Azure Portal Dashboard. And the correct answer is Option C. Azure Monitor. Explanation. Azure Monitor. A centralized dashboard that collects all the logs, metrics, and events from your resources. Next question. Which Azure networking solution supports the highest speed connection between your corporate office and an Azure region near you? Option A. Site-to-site -site VPN. Option B. Edge computing. Option C. Express route. Option D. Point-to-site VPN. And the correct answer is Option C. Express route. Explanation. Express route is a direct private connection from your data center into Azure. Next question. Fill in the blanks. Dash. Allows you to manage Windows and Linux machines running on-premises or in other cloud providers as if they were Azure VMS. Option A. Azure Resource Manager. Option B. Azure Cloud Shell. Option C. Azure Arc. Option D. Log Analytics. And the correct answer is Option C. Azure Arc. Explanation. Azure Arc enables servers lets you manage Windows and Linux physical servers and virtual machines hosted outside of Azure on your corporate network or other cloud provider. This management experience is designed to be consistent with how you manage native Azure virtual machines using standard Azure constructs such as Azure policy and applying tags. Next question. A company is looking at the possibility of using the Azure government to develop its cloud-based solutions. Which of the following customers are allowed to use Azure government? Option A. Canadian government contractor. Option B. European government contractor. Option C. United States Government Entity. Option D. A European Government Entity. And the correct answer is Option C. United States Government Entity. Explanation. U.S. government agencies or their partners interested in cloud services that meet government security and compliance requirements can be confident that Microsoft Azure government provides world-class security and compliance. Azure government delivers a dedicated cloud-enabling government agencies and their partners to transform mission-critical workloads to the cloud. Azure government services can accommodate data that is subject to various U.S. government regulations and requirements. Azure government delivers a dedicated cloud-enabling government agencies and their partners to transform mission-critical workloads to the cloud. Azure government services handle data that is subject to various government regulations and requirements. Next question. A company is planning to set up a solution in Azure. The solution would have the following key requirement. The number of VM instances can automatically increase or decrease in response to demand or a defined schedule. Which of the following would be best suited for this requirement? 
ऑप्शन ए अज्योर डेटा लेक एनालिटिक्स ऑप्शन बी अज्योर वर्चुअल मशीन स्केल सेट्स ऑप्शन सी अज्योर वर्चुअल नेटवर्क ऑप्शन डी अज्योर एप सर्विस एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी अज्योर वर्चुअल मशीन स्केल सेट्स एक्सप्लेनेशन अज्योर वर्चुअल मशीन स्केल सेट्स लेट यू क्रिएट एंड मैनेज अ ग्रुप ऑफ लोड बैलेंस्ड वी एम एस द नंबर ऑफ वी एम इंस्टेंसेस कैन ऑटोमेटिकली इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज इन रिस्पॉन्स टू डिमांड और अ डिफाइंड शेड्यूल सिंस दिस इज अ क्लियर फीचर ऑफ द टूल ऑल अदर ऑप्शन आर इन करेक्ट नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन यू आर प्लानिंग टू माइग्रेट द ऑन प्रिमाइज फाइल सिस्टम टू अज्योर विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टोरेज सर्विस इज यूज टू माइग्रेट यूर ऑन प्रिमाइस फाइल्स टू अज्योर ऑप्शन ए ब्लॉब सर्विस ऑप्शन बी अज्योर फाइल्स ऑप्शन सी अज्योर टेबल्स ऑप्शन डी अज्योर क्यूज एंड द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी अज्योर फाइल्स एक्सप्लेनेशन Azure file storage enables you to migrate your on-premises file or file shared based applications to Azure without having to provision or manage highly available file server VMS. Thank you for watching this video. Buy our AZ 900 premium questions with 50% off. Check link in the description.